Okay, here we go one more time with the subnetting magic number uh, situation. Subnetting magic number trick. Right? Okay, so they give you an IP address like 192.168.1.153 and they say this time it's slash 27. Okay? So first of all you need to know, well, what does slash 27 mean? Well, first of all we have to, well, we have to figure out what is the magic number. So slash 27. So it's very easy. I just will go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that is, let's see here. Put a dot there. Put a dot there. And a dot there. That's 24 ones. And then 25, 26, 27. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then there's my zeros, right? Let's make it smaller. Okay, so there's my subnet mask, all right? And if I was to write it in decimal notation, it would be 255.255.255.224, right? Well, how do I know that? Once again, binary. This is in the 128th place this is in the 64's place, and this is in the 32's place. Why? 2 to the 7th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, um, 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224, right? What's my magic number? Here it is. My magic number is the last borrowed bit. In this case, it's this, and we know right off the bat that what place value it is in is the 32's place. So the magic number equals 32. All right. So now I can find out, I can answer any question they give me related to this IP address and number. For instance, they could say to me, you know, is it a broadcast number? Is it a network number? What ne First of all, let's find out what network is it in. Okay. So um, since, it's a th since the magic number is 32 and the last borrowed bit is a 1 in the 32's place, I know that the network's go like this. 0, 32, 64, plus 32 is 96, plus 32 is 128, right? Plus 32 is 160, okay? And right off the bat, I've passed my IP address, so I know I have the answer, all right? The answer is 153 is in between the 128 network and the 160 network. So I know right off the bat that the network is 192.168.1.128. So the 128 network, the broadcast address in that network is 159. So if they ask me what's the network for this number right here, right? 192.168.1.153 with a slash 27, I can answer them very quickly that the network is the 128 network, the broadcast address is 159, and that yes, it is a usable host address in that network. Okay? I can also tell them that it's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th network, right? I can tell them that there are, the magic number is 32, so I can tell them that there are, um, I can tell them that there are 32 hosts in the network right? 32 hosts, right? We've borrowed uh, three ones here, three subnet bits, so I know that there is the, um, the networks, there are two times two times two, two times two is four, times two is eight, so I know that there are eight networks, right? Eight networks. Um, there are eight networks that uh, were created, I know the networks go up by 32. That's the most important part. 0, 32, 64, 96, 128, 160. The next one is 192. All right. The network next one is um, 224. And that's it. So I said that there was, uh, let's see here. I said there was eight networks. And just count them up. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are the eight networks. So I can learn a lot from the magic number 
um, theory in answering the subnets, right? Here's another question they probably will give you on the CCNA. And I'll ask you a question like this, you know. Bobby has, uh, you know, they'll say the admin network has 44 users, right? Then it'll say the teacher network has, you know, 123 users, right? You know, what should the what should be the subnet mask in what you know how would how would they sub which would be the proper um, slash subnet mask notation? Would it be slash 24, slash 25, slash 26, right? Something like that, or slash 27, right? Well, slash 24 is classful, and that means there's 255 hosts. Slash 25, we've borrowed one bit, right? And it's in the 128 spot, so we know there's 128 hosts, right? That's going to be enough hosts. The teacher network, let me write that out, that's bothering me, has 123 years. Okay. Slash 25 has 128 hosts, and the teacher network has 123, and this one has 44, so that's going to be enough hosts to cover this network. Now remember, 128 hosts in slash 25, because slash 25, the last octet is this. Okay. Uh, one more zero. The last octet looks like this. Dot one dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. The one is in the one twenty eighth place, right? So that's how I know that there is the magic number is one is one twenty eight. The magic number is one twenty eight, and that means there's one hundred and twenty eight hosts. That's enough hosts for this network. You can't use the first number and you can't use the last number. So there's actually only one hundred and twenty six usable hosts. Okay, that's an important distinction on the test, right? It's an important distinction. Let me uh, make that smaller. There we go. Usable hosts, 126 usable hosts. So anyway, this is going to be the correct answer. Slash 26 is, um, the magic number is 64, so that's 64 hosts. And with this, borrowed three bits, 25, 26, 27, the magic number is 32, so it's 32 hosts, 64 hosts, right? So if the admin network has 44 users and the teacher network has 123 users, we're going to want to use a slash 25. Also, yeah, in the slash 25 network, that should be good. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, um, next movie.